This is the first time we get to orbit Mercury. Out there at the forefront of our solar system lies Mercury, a small, uninhabited planet wrapped in a web of intrigue and mystery. At a mere glance, nothing seems significant about this planet. However, recent investigations by NASA have revealed some shocking revelations about Mercury that no one expected. Some of the mind-blowing discoveries, including data from the James Webb Telescope, have sparked controversy within the scientific community, with many hinting at the possibility of extraterrestrial species hiding on the planet. Amidst the chaotic revelations and bizarre conspiracy theories, a new plan is springing up within the scientific community. The master plan to strip Mercury of its mind-boggling masks and reveal its dark secrets once and for all. What mind-blowing secrets have scientists discovered about Mercury? And what revolutionary plans does the scientific community have for this mysterious galactic neighbor? Join us in this video as the Webb Telescope finally found what NASA was hiding on Mercury all along. Our solar system is more than just an intrinsic body of planets swinging in a cosmic melee. Around each of the eight planets that make up this enigmatic ring system, there are fascinating features of their own. Although planets like Jupiter and Mars may have taken the spotlight with their astonishing significance, one other interesting planetary body that seems to be lost in the crowd is Mercury. Mercury is the planet that lies at the very top of the list of planets in order of closeness to the Sun. Its distance from the Sun is a mere 58 million kilometers compared to Earth's 150 million kilometers. Mercury is also quite tiny compared to Earth, measuring only 3,000 kilometers in diameter. Thanks to its tiny radius around the Sun, Mercury is the fastest planet to complete its revolution around the Sun at a whopping speed of 47 kilometers per second. The planet completes a full rotation in just 59 days. In other words, one year on Mercury is merely 88 days or three months on Earth. Mercury's small size and immense speed are just a few of its fascinating features. From a distance on the cosmic map, it even looks like a habitable planet. The small planet has always been intriguing to the scientific community, but for some reason, it hasn't garnered attention like most of its cosmic neighbors. The first recorded observation of Mercury was in 265 BC. Early astronomers like Zupus back in 1639 also studied the planet. However, all the scientific community had in these early times were bits and pieces of data as all of their research was conducted using substandard scientific equipment and ancient telescopes. It wasn't until the 1960s that real tangible data about Mercury came to light, thanks to the effort of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. A few years ago, NASA revealed the first real images of Mercury to the public. These larger-than-life photographs showed Mercury as a celestial embodiment of beauty and complexity. But it didn't come cheaply. In fact, despite years of planning and concerted effort to explore Mercury, scientists were only able to glance at it. The truth is that scientists have a hard time spying on Mercury like they do on other planets because of its proximity to the sun. The sun's unforgiving rays and bright light can damage optical instruments like telescopes when they gaze at Mercury for too long. As such, scientists can only glance at the tiny planet for a few minutes at a time to prevent damage to equipment. Even the James Webb Telescope cannot point towards the planet due to its closeness to the sun. It's quite enigmatic how this relatively small, nearby planet is harder to study than the farther planets. All because of the temperature and gravitational pull from the sun sending a probe to Mercury is more like a suicide mission than a stellar mission. The probe must adapt to the temperature, atmosphere, and gravitational pull experienced there. Otherwise, it will waste away. It would shock you to know that Mercury blazes around the sun at a whopping speed of 30 meters per second. This time-shattering speed makes it the fastest orbiting planet in our solar system. This also poses a difficulty for spacecraft that intend to survey the planet or land on its surface. So far, only two space missions have had Mercury as their target. The Mariner 10, launched on November 3, 1973, and the Messenger, launched on August 3, 2004, are the key spacecraft to visit Mercury. Both of these missions were the brainchild of NASA and are the primary sources of nearly all the information we have about Mercury today. For one, the Mariner 10 spacecraft conducted three flybys, each unmasking the cracked-up, crater-ridden surface of Mercury and also shining light on its magnetic field. In case you're wondering, this spacecraft was equipped with two telescopes, a magnetometer, and a plasma analyzer. 
NASA intended to glean as much data as possible from the Mariner 10's visit to Mercury. As luck would have it, the probe slowly found its way to the small, fast planet. As Mariner 10 approached Mercury, scientists were amazed to see the chaotic surface of Mercury. It was ridden with lots of craters and ridges, much like our moon. The images from Mariner were mind-blowing as Mercury turned out to be nothing like what experts had ever anticipated. Aside from the rugged planetary surface, the spacecraft also detected a weak magnetic field and an unusually large core. In all, the Mariner took over 2,700 images of Mercury, giving scientists a rare and unparalleled view of the fascinating landscape. The second flyby of the Mariner was on September 21, 1974, during which it captured the southern polar region of the sensational planet. The last flyby of the Mariner 10 was in March 1975, after which it stopped transmitting signals to Earth. Later investigations revealed that the spacecraft had exhausted its supply of gas and so was unable to make any more rounds. The magnificent work of the Mariner 10 was continued 30 years later when NASA's messenger took off to the not-distant planet. Unlike its predecessor, messenger didn't just conduct a flyby but also managed to orbit the planet. Thanks to this, scientists were able to gather more in-depth and interesting data about the planet. Armed with the interesting pictures of Mercury, NASA sought deeper data with this mission. This time, it wasn't just about pictures. The agency wanted to know more about the atmospheric conditions and chemical composition of the planet. NASA also hoped to study the planet's magnetic field, as well as dig deep into its geologic history and planetary core. As you'd expect, the messenger probe was loaded with all the necessary gadgets it would need for this groundbreaking mission. Interestingly, the probe made three orbits around Mercury during which time it took about 200,000 photos of the planet. These pictures were unique because, unlike the Mariner mission, they featured both sides of the planet. During the messenger mission, the probe managed to enter well into the planet's orbit, hovering at about 25,000 kilometers above the planet's surface. This proximity enabled the probe to take pictures of both the light and dark sides of Mercury. After digging deep into the images and comparing them with data from the spacecraft's instruments, NASA found out that our dear sister planet had unusually high concentrations of calcium and magnesium on its night side. Moreover, the magnetic field of the planet seems to be weirdly distorted, appearing to be stronger and more intense in the northern regions. This weird pattern of the magnetic field puzzled scientists for years until deep research and analysis were conducted to reveal the secret behind this anomaly. You see, Mercury's weird and unusual magnetic field is all due to how the planet formed. At its core, magnetic fields on planets are generated from the reactions that go on in their core. Take Earth as an example. The innermost parts of the Earth's core contain liquid iron, but towards the outer core, this iron changes to solid. The continuous or progressive solidification of liquid iron in the core is what causes the magnetic field. In other words, more and more solid iron is being formed in our planet's core every day as liquid iron cools and crystallizes to form solid iron. It interacts with the surrounding liquid iron, and as this happens, as the Earth spins around its axis, a form of convective current is created. In the end, Powerful electric currents are generated that produce a massive magnetic field stretching out into space. This is the exact mode of operation for the Earth and how its magnetic field lines are generated. For Mercury, however, it's a different ball game. In fact, Mercury's mode of operation is so bizarre that it left scientists completely mind-boggled. In recent research led by Hoer from the University of California, Los Angeles, it was discovered that iron turns from liquid to solid at the core's outer boundary. This is very different from that of Earth, where the conversion from liquid to solid takes place at the core's inner boundary. Hoer had this to say, We had figured out how the Earth works, and Mercury is another terrestrial rocky planet with an iron core, so we thought it would work the same way, but it's not working the same way. It's like a snowstorm in which the snow forms at the top of the cloud, the middle of the cloud, and the bottom of the cloud. Our study of Mercury's magnetic field indicates iron is snowing throughout this fluid that is powering Mercury's magnetic field. Further research showed that Hoer's research was consistent with data from NASA's messenger mission. The mind-boggling revelation led scientists to believe that planets have more than one way of generating magnetic fields. 
Although the cores of Mercury and Earth contain similar constituents like sulfur and iron, certain disparities in these two planets can produce astonishing differences, as seen in their magnetic fields. However, the disparity between Earth and Mercury goes well beyond its magnetic field. You see, there are many other rules that this celestial body doesn't seem to follow. For instance, scientists were puzzled to find that temperatures on the planet could rise to values. Beyond 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius, which is close to the melting point of zinc. On the other hand, the nighttime temperatures on Mercury can plummet to around minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 184 degrees Celsius. To put things into perspective, this temperature variation is among the most extreme variations of any planet in our solar system. Although the day-to-night temperature difference on Mercury is an interesting phenomenon, it didn't stop scientists from digging deeper into other secrets of the planet. The latest data suggests that Mercury may not have a liquid outer core like Earth, but a partly solid one. The planet's atmosphere is also among the most unique in our solar system. A study conducted by the European Space Agency revealed that the planet's atmosphere is very thin and is made up of mostly sodium, magnesium, and calcium. However, this study led to another mind-blowing revelation. For some weird reason, the planet's atmosphere is always in a state of continuous movement. Unlike other planets with stable atmospheres, Mercury's atmosphere is dynamic and continuously shifting. To top it all off, Mercury has been subject to varying degrees of controversy. Some conspiracy theorists suggest that there are extraterrestrial species hiding on the planet or that the planet may be a form of alien base. These conspiracy theories have caused an uproar within the scientific community sparking debates and controversies about the true nature of the planet. The sheer amount of secrecy surrounding Mercury has led many to believe that NASA is hiding some top-secret information about the planet. Some speculated that NASA has been using the planet as a cover for more advanced space missions. Nonetheless, the James Webb Telescope, renowned for its advanced capabilities, was expected to reveal groundbreaking insights about Mercury but it has yet to shed new light on the planet due to its proximity to the sun. Nevertheless, recent plans in the scientific community suggest that Mercury may not remain a mystery for long. The space community is in the process of developing advanced space probes equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that can withstand the planet's harsh conditions. These new probes are designed to withstand Mercury's extreme temperatures and magnetic fields while gathering unprecedented data about the planet. The goal is to deploy these probes to Mercury to uncover its hidden secrets and address the ongoing controversies surrounding the planet. Exciting plans are underway to strip Mercury of its mind-boggling masks and uncover the truth about its unusual magnetic field, extreme temperatures, and enigmatic atmosphere. Stay tuned for more updates as the scientific community edges closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mercury.